success is defensive efficiency. They were the top team in the Horizon League, according to Ken Palm, in conference play in defensive efficiency. We'll see if they can continue that into a new season. Yeah, they're going to get a nice test tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are. Uh, try to stop Hunter Dickinson. Damian Chong Kui will bring it up. Second season with the Mastodons. He started at Mount St. Mary's. Mastodons. Purdue Fort Wayne start off this college basketball season. Oh, good denial defense that time by Williams. Shot clock at seven. Robinson back it out. Here's Plenutis blocked by Dickinson first of the year, and Jalen Llewellyn will push it up the floor. Doesn't have numbers as the Mastodons get back quickly. Okay, now you see Michigan. I thought they were going to go into a continuity offense, but they've got a set call here. Don't be surprised to see Kobe Buck can come and get this opportunity. Here's Llewellyn. Ten to shoot. Back it goes to Buckin. Five on the shot clock. Dickinson doubles. Ball poked free. That's good anyway. I mean, shot clock to rest. Ball gets fumbled. Doesn't matter. Big fella is confident. Two-nothing start a minute into the season. Robinson out it goes to Deontay Phillips for three and the senior from Moline, Illinois Who was the Horizon League sixth man of the year a year ago gets on the board? Yeah, and he's stepping up in the uh, absence of Godfrey So be interested to see what he can do with his minutes Answer, Jet Howard cannot and the rebound Planutus Quentin Morton Robinson will push it in the corner Phillips will try again and he'll hit again 41% a year ago from three, 100% this year. Yeah, and he's coming out hot, but I think he's his body language is something that it can be bulletin board material. <laughs> got to be careful. I understand you being happy, but you got to be careful. And a charge called on Hunter Dickinson, his first. And a turnover back to Purdue Fort Wayne. There's the head coach, John Kaufman. Ninth season at the helm of the Mastodons. Just got an extension at the end of August. He will be the head coach for that extension through the 2029-2030 seasons. And I tell you what, I, I'm impressed. I mean, we were at the shoot-around earlier today. Got a chance to talk with him. I love what he's doing with this program. Phillips will try again. And this time off the mark. Rebound Terrence Williams. And the veteran will push it up the floor. At well, that time, the Wolverines are trying to get Buckin on a double screen and just could not free himself. Well and inside, the push to Buckin in the corner for three. And a long rebound to Bobby Plenutis. Well, they call him Bobby Buckus. Let's see if he can get going here for the Mastodons. Amy Chalkley is called 5'8". Jet Howard 6'8", defending him in a turnover. Going back the other way, Plenutis with the foul. Juan Howard, fourth season as head coach. We had a terrific chat with him at their practice, their shoot around earlier today. Although we talked more about his love of baseball <laughs> than we did his love of basketball. I had no idea that Juwan was such a huge baseball fan, specifically Chicago Cub fan. We are now best friends. <laughs> I love it. And you know, Juwan is a guy that he is all Chicago through and through. Yes, loves the is. Bears, loves the Cubs. Yeah, I made the mistake of asking, what, you know, was he happy about the Lions win over the Packers this week? He said, I am a Bears fan. I don't want to care about the Lions win it. Dickinson on the run. The little hook is good. Now, uh, Kevin, that's a tough move for a seven foot one man to go off the bounce, stop to avoid the charge, and have enough touch on the finish. Robinson on the drive. Jack Howard got a piece of that one, and it ends up in the freshman's hands. See the length of the Wolverines starting to bother the Mastodons a little bit. Buck into the corner and a travel. Hunter Dickinson's been no surprise, the key early for Michigan. Well, watch this here. He gets the ball, and the defense makes a mistake. Now he comes to a jump stop. That's what we're taught fundamentally as a kid before a seven foot one man to be moving like that to stop, go straight up and down, and have the touch. That's why he's one of the best players in the country. Eight points away from 1,000 in his career. 
and he scored all four for Michigan. A proud DMV native. Loves the D.C. area. And Terrence Williams and now the freshman Doug McDaniel. So we've got a trifecta out of the DMV. In the corner, JoJo Peterson tries the three. Rebound kicked loose and punched out of bounds off the hands of Jonathan DeJernet. It'll belong to Michigan. Oh, Michigan right now looking at Trying to find some rhythm on this end of the floor. Defensively, they haven't been bad, especially in the last few possessions. Let's see if they can take advantage of this. Jimmy Baker on the floor for Michigan. Baker at the top will try the three. Off the mark, but that's where he's going to make hay for Michigan this year. Career 38% from there at Duke. Yeah, and I, I think that it's going to take him a, a little bit of time to get comfortable, but like you said, Kevin, he's got great size, too, from the wing. So this is a long athletic Michigan team. Billups on the spin inside, shot off to Dickinson. And then Dickinson throws it up the floor, and Baker not ready for the outlet pass. And maybe to your point, going to take everybody a little time to get going. It's just the first four minutes of the college basketball season, folks. On the Big Ten Plus app. Download and subscribe today. This is season one of trike racing. Find that on Big Ten Plus. <laughs> No plus like home. Everything. Yeah, you can find a little bit of everything. <laughs> Wait till you get to season three of Trike Racing. There is a shocking twist at the end of that season. I don't want to spoil it. Can't wait. I mean, Planutis working it around to Damian Chong Kui. There's Planutis. I mean, Bucket's not getting a bucket right now. Dickinson all over. That was a set play to get him a shot. And Chong Kui taking it to the rim. And the Mount St. Mary's he transfer, just Chong five Kui. foot eight, but he's aggressive. He is aggressive and he plays with that chip on his shoulder being 5 8 from Baltimore So, you know, he's gonna be tough Dickinson good position before the feed and he has an easy two And I understand why Hunter's a little bit upset. He got raked across the arm there. He's still able to finish You've got to pick your poison if you're Purdue Fort Wayne at this point What do you do with this Michigan team? Roberts Stepped on that sideline and a turnover. It's tough. Do you defend the perimeter and you try to slow down this guy inside? Yeah, you can't take away both, but watch Hunter do his work early. Gets it. Look at that. Goes through the powers through the contact. <laughs> Holding his hands up to the ref. Like, what else do I need to do? Mastodon's eight, Dickinson six. Baker will try to get on the board, and he will with the three, and Michigan leads. Well, what a great side for the Wolverines. And Baker. Gonna get his confidence up, Kevin. He could be a nice addition to this Wolverine squad. Joe Peterson stripped on the way in. Terrence Williams motoring the other way. Three on two if he can hurry. It's Bumpkin for three. And Dickinson. Offensive board put back in a foul. Season opener, midseason strength. Tell you what, Dickinson looks like he's in midseason form already. Running the floor. He's not gassed whatsoever. Gets great offensive position and doesn't hesitate. Keeps it high. Big fundamentals underneath the bucket. Nice concentration. You know, Kevin, when you talk about Hunter Dickinson and his size, it's one thing to watch him on television, but when you get next to him, I mean, he goes, he goes up to the clouds, really. He's a large man. Yes, he is. 8-0 run, thanks in large part to that large man who has nine of Michigan's 12 points tonight. I mean, the Wolverines know where their bread is buttered. But Morton Robinson, rotation around to Anthony Roberts, trying to find some room inside. Boy, but Jet Howard closed quickly, didn't he? He did. Planutis had no chance, hoisting a contested three, and maybe a chunk we can't connect. And Llewellyn looking to push again. Three from Baker falls again. Joey Baker, he's hit two from distance. And the largest lead of the night for Michigan. Props a Mastodon's timeout. Oh, man. The Wolverines responded out of that first timeout. The great defense sets up in here. Not a bad start with six early points. Not a bad start at all. And I think assistant coach Sadi Washington recruited him out of high school. So there was a, there was a relationship that was already developed. And for him to come and have that comfort with Saudi and the rest of the staff, you start to see that blossom here tonight. Damian Chong Kui bumped there. 
Working it around into the corner. Planuk is trying to get on the board. Cannot do it. Offensive rebound. Jonathan Dijernet and a second chance for the Mastodons. Jonathan's giving good energy off the bench for Purdue Fort Wayne. Phillips got it started early and then tried to hit a cutting Planutis. Mastodon's fortunate to have it, but four to shoot. Gonna have to hurry. John Kui from the elbow won't go. And Williams the other way for Michigan. The last three minutes, this has been an outstanding defensive effort by Michigan. I mean, they've been suffocating. Oh, inside. Dickinson too easy. And Hunter Dickinson into double figures with 11. Remember I said that I was wondering where the Jet Tower was going to play defense? He's answered those questions already. <laughs> Planutis finally got a look, but he cannot cash in. Gets his own. And tipped out of bounds by Terrence Williams. All right, Hunter Dickinson is looking sharp early. Well, the thing is, his teammates are playing smart, knowing that he's got a size advantage. Throw it up, let him keep it high, go off the glass. And he's really quietly done a really good job on Planutis. Bobby Planutis has not had good looks. Dickinson getting a breather before the under 12. Planutis 0 for 3 to your point and 0 for 2 from 3. I'm telling you, I mean, Planutis is a tough matchup for anyone, especially for Hunter Dickinson. Where he has really put, out, put forth the effort on the defensive end. Shot clock to 7, despite what you hear from the crowd. Sean Quee inside, blocked away by Llewellyn. And under 5 to shoot. For the Mastodons. Jalen Llewellyn had a, a party comment after that block. You see it right there, like, welcome to Ann Arbor, young fellow. Nice block without foul. Well, Michigan fans, we want to keep your eyes open. Doug McDaniel into the game. We're at number zero. There's a block inside by Terrace Reed Jr. Here's McDaniel to the other end where it's poked out of bounds. It'll stay with Michigan. That's another one of the freshmen that that man, Juwan Howard, is very excited about the upside of Terrace Reed Jr. I mean, Terrace Reed, I, I don't know if you can tell, ladies and gentlemen, from the television, he is well put together. He does not look like a freshman body wise. He looks Big Ten ready right now. Highest rated recruit in the class this year, 35th on the 24-7 composite. Reed sets the screen for Williams trying to get it going. And the oh. first two for Terrence Williams. Yeah, tough that shot is. He's going left out of bounds. Knocks down the jump. A 15-0 run. Purdue Fort Wayne has missed their last six. Williams nearly got it away again. Billups inside the turnaround won't go but catching it cannot connect the Jeanette He'll try to extend the 15-0 run. The Jeanette was thought he got bumped there on the release Howard step back three you bet Oh boy, he shot that from four field That was deep ball poked free by Doug McDaniel and out of bounds to Michigan It's all happening for the folks from Ann Arbor right now. A lot, a lot to like here early on. Williams with a difficult. This is how you're going to get some playing time in this team. There's no doubt. Kevin, I'm, I'm, I am going to read into <laughs> the first nine minutes because I'm a former Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year. Yes, you are. That's elite defensive effort that we're seeing from Michigan. And the key word in that is effort, isn't it? Yes, yes. Because they can control their effort. Can't control how they shoot every night. <laughs> Jet Howard, good drive, just couldn't connect. Anthony Roberts trying to break an 18-0 run for Michigan as the Mastodons bring it up. Baseline drive, trying to leave it in traffic and a turnover. There's Terrace Reed, good hands for the big man. See, these passes, the Mastodons are trying to make in traffic. These guys are long. They're anticipating the passes. Oh, Bumpkin, 20 to nothing. Michigan run. Planutis finally able to break the run as he gets to the rim for two. And I think Taurus Reed was supposed to get back there and didn't quite make it back defensively. There's Doug McDaniel. Oh, look at that speed. Turned on the Jets and gets blocked out of bounds by Deontay Phillips. Well, we've talked defense through the first 10 minutes of this game, and Michigan's showing it in a lot of different ways. Well, they've got impressive length, Kevin, and, and if you can put that link together with some effort, and that's what, exactly what we've seen. Great timing on the blocks without fouling. Look at them close out 
stay down like Jet Howard did and force a contested jumper. That's all you can ask for if you're Jawan Howard. Yeah, they're certainly going to face teams that match up better size-wise yes. than does Purdue Fort Wayne, but the effort is something that'll carry regardless of where you are. We've got another block on that one. Rebound inside. Rob Petty able to put it back in with the hook. Oh, good to see Rob Petty. Kind of like my nephew, his dad, Andy Petty, and I played together at Illinois. Uh, he is going to be a rich man. We'll talk about that <laughs> a little bit later. Yes, he is. Because <laughs> his dad ain't hurt neither. Feels like a subtle way for you to ask for a loan from his dad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or have him manage a little bit of money I got. Reed on the baseline. Left that one short. JoJo Peterson in there to scoop it up. Here's Anthony Roberts. Working it around to Chong Kui. Damian Chong Kui, the 5'8 senior from Baltimore. The penetration and an offensive foul. Well, you mentioned it, and of course, we have photo photographic yeah. evidence of yeah. the fact that there you guys, not only did you play together, you stood together in the team photo. Oh, that's my man. Andy Petty and I have been tight since that time. And a uh, great teammate, great man, great father. And Ra has picked up all the good things from Andy and then some. So it's always good to see Ra and, and his family coming out here and, and doing his thing. Ra is a grad student this year. He began at Vermont and has been here for several years and now is in the Certified Financial Analyst Program. It's a new program that they've started at Purdue Fort Wayne in recent years and he is right in the middle of that program. Yeah, he's, he's a fantastic young man, very thoughtful and a hard worker. Howard from the free throw line. Planudis with the rebound. Mastodons trying to get back into this one. Here's Quentin Morton Robinson. That three will help as the Mastodons cut it down to nine. Yeah, that defensive breakdown, a rare one here in the first half, but you see the, the lineup is a little bit different. So you got, you got three freshmen on the floor right now. Sometimes that's going to happen early in the season. Juwan Howard told us in that exhibition, he mixed a lot of different lineups around. You want to see what guys do when they play with each other in different situations as Terrace Reed Jr. is going to the line after the petty foul. Yeah, they, you know, you, you want these freshmen to get this experience and, and whatnot while they're on the floor and going against guys who are on scholarship like they are. Interesting things happen. Number 32, Terrace Reed, Terrace Reed Jr. Jr. to the line. First free throw attempt of his career. And a chance for his first career point. And he'll need one more free throw to get that point. Saturday, we're all Big Ten all morning with in-depth previews of every conference matchup. And tons of fun from right here in Ann Arbor before the Wolverines host Nebraska. Big Ten tailgate presented by Tom Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern on Big Ten Network. <laughs> Big fella shaking his head. Hey, they all count the same. That's right. You know, it you, matter. You, your teammates might talk about you, but hey, you got on the board. You look at the box score, it doesn't say there was anything other than a swish. That's right. But Mort Robinson, speaking of swishes, puts that one down from the foul line. He's got five. He, he's got a quick five, and he got that three down. Now his confidence is elevated. The master downs want to get paint touches. They don't necessarily need to shoot in the paint. They want to penetrate and get into the paint to soften the defense. It's a well-coached program from Purdue Fort Wayne. And they're in the midst of a 9-1 run and looking to add to it here as JoJo Peterson starts it up the floor. On the bounce, Quentin Morton Robinson's three off the heel to Jet Howard. Howard on the push, the lead for Jace Howard. Jet to Jace, and the Howards connect for three. How many times have they done that before they came to Michigan? <laughs> Boy, that's a beautiful connection there. Robinson, that floater drops, and the transfer from Radford has scored the last seven for the Mastodons. Gordon Robinson is going at the McDaniel. His eyes starting to light up a little bit. Bucket, trying for the three. Planudis with the Mastodon rebound. Watch Planudis on this drag here. Oh, he missed it. He was wide open. And trying to hit the big man inside, could not connect, and a timeout on the floor. Well, Jawan Howard, I don't know if he envisioned this 10 years ago, but boy, this is a beautiful view. Jet to Jace. Young Tommy is not so young anymore. He is 
on the bench. In fact, the whole Kaufman family is here. Tracy, Tommy, Lucy, even Dad Glenn, who is a Michigan grad. This is a, I don't want to say they're all Michigan men, but it's a, it's a family that has a lot of Michigan connections. Oh, oh God. And they were very excited to be playing here tonight as Jalen Llewellyn gets on the board with his first two as a Wolverine. Well, Coach Kaufman told us a funny story that he was actually uh, admitted to Michigan, but he said he wasn't going to get any clock with the, the Fat Five, <laughs> so he went to Division Three instead. Yeah, Phillips, the feet inside, and Dickinson right there on the challenge. Great timing, too. It just met him at the apex without foul. I love it. Walking around the Dickinson screen with the push in the corner. The three pinballs out into the arms of Dijonet. Nice. I thought it was a heads up play by Kobe Bufkin. He realized that Llewellyn really hasn't had a lot of cracks at it offensively, so he gave up his opportunity to try to get Llewellyn a shot. And Dalton had a takeaway. Llewellyn to the other end. Blocked back. Teacher Net got there and said no thanks. Good hustle defensively. Those are the type of plays that might give the Mastodons a little bit of energy trying to get back in this one. Trying to get through there into the corner to Peterson. The three rebounded by Dickinson, his fifth board of the night. Jet Howard open three. Jake's rebound. Put back to the line. Well, we talked about the Kaufmans being having some Michigan ties, the ultimate ties. Dad Glenn, Mom Mary Lou, who has passed cancer. Glenn is on the right side of your screen in the ball cap, looking up at the scoreboard right now. Mom and Dad went to Michigan and, in fact, were introduced at Michigan by Michigan football and pro football Hall of Famer left guard Tom Mack, who played 13 years for the Rams in the National Football League. And, you know, Dad came up to introduce himself to Jawan pregame. This is cool this is home. Yes, for Glenn Coffin. In fact, these two teams were supposed to play last year, but you know, you may have heard about COVID that derailed that game. Kudos to Jawan Howard for going back to that game this year and giving these guys a chance to come play. Dad had actually driven up from Georgia for the game. Couldn't turn around and go back because the game never happened. Yep. So it's cool that he got the chance to come up here and watch this game tonight. Foul on Jace Howard. I'm, I'm looking at Jace Howard. He's put on another level. I mean, he's put on at least 10, 15 pounds. Is, is you can tell he's been in the weight room. Well, to shoot from the elbow, that jumper won't go, and the rebound ripped out of the hands of Eric Mulder by Kobe Bufkin. Bufkin driving right at Mulder, he gets the two. Great read by Kobe Bufkin. There's a slight hesitation there, the defense fell off. He creates the contact and finish. Michigan back up by 14. And a whistle, and that's number two on Jace Howard. Can I watch Kobe Bufkin? Lefty going left to a strong hand. Now watch. He, he's going to survey, slight hesitation, and then explode to the rim. That's a really nice play by the South Bowl. Fun new toys with this Michigan team right now. And, you know, with Jawan going to three straight Sweet 16s, that indicates that they get better as the year goes on. Because they were they were woefully inconsistent at times last season. Well, that uneven was a really good description of this Michigan team. And a lot of it was on the defensive end. On the other end, Chet Howard. Easy to the rim for two. And Howard pokes it free on the floor. McDaniel on the attack. Dickinson trying for the rebound. Planudis clears it away. Oh, McDaniel a little frustrated. And then a highlight reel there. There's just very little space for the Mastodon to operate. Robinson with the three. Quentin Mort Robinson's a nice player. He's got ten. Uh, and 
He's got some boxing, doesn't he? He does. You know, those diminutive guards, they got to play with the chip on their shoulder. They say Doug McDaniel does the exact same thing. Out of bounds of the stay on this end of the floor. And a timeout on the floor. Michigan with the 13-point lead. Joan Howard has to like what he sees early. In Maryland, who are they? I don't know. And Michigan State, underrated? Nobody's talking about Tom Izzo's team this year. And that, that's always a mistake. Right? Yeah, he's pretty good. Because, you know, Malik Hall, preseason all Big Ten. Joey Hauser has as much unrealized potential of any player in the Big Ten, in my opinion. Okay. Oh, and A.J. Hogard, Tyson Walker. Oh, yeah. yeah, there's some got, talent there. Got, yeah. But you know what? I was I was not happy that Max Christie left early. Yeah. Hunter Dickinson to the line. After the foul on Mulder. And there it is, point number 1,000 in the career of Hunter Dickinson. Congratulations to Hunter, who's got 1,000 points in his career. Not tonight, he has 12 tonight. 1,000 on a night would be, a, I believe, a record. Yeah. But he does have 12 in this game, which is not a record. No, I mean, it, it just speaks to his efficiency. He's just starting his third season, already eclipsed the 1,000-point mark. It's a wonderful player. April 24th, a good day for Michigan fans because he posted on the social media world, I ain't done yet. Not just Michigan fans. I mean, you know. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple fan bases don't particularly care for him. Yeah. I, mean, I guess they probably wasn't a celebration in East Lansing. Yeah. No, but you know what? I quietly think they love him. Because it's rare when a college player, even a big, will be that outspoken. True. And that his coach allows him to be that outspoken. I love it. Well, the end zone probably loves him. <laughs> Dickinson inside. And just slipped out of his hands. First miss of the night for Hunter Dickinson. In the corner, the three for Planutis drops. His first from long range. Purdue Fort Wayne, 5 of 11 tonight from three. That's helping him stick around. Yeah, it really is. And, and that might get them a little bit more confident with Planutis getting a chance to get a, a quality look. They're going to need him again if you're joining us late. Jared Godfrey, first team All Horizon League a year ago for Purdue Fort Wayne, not playing tonight. Coach's decision. They would love to have him at his 15 points per game from a year ago out there. Rebound underneath by the freshman from Oskaloosa, Iowa, Eric Mulder. I like Eric Mulder. Good looking athlete. Trickle it into the corner and stepping on the side. Of the second turnover in that corner for the Mastodons. Tomorrow, Zach Eady and the Boilermakers tip off the season against Milwaukee. Coverage begins tomorrow, 6.30 Eastern on the Big Ten Network and the Fox Sports app. And yeah, we keep hearing about Indiana, Michigan, Illinois. You better put the Boilermakers in that group. <laughs> Zach Eady is as good as they come, and they've got enough guys that have experience to make things interesting. Not to mention some new guys that are going to play a big role quickly. Llewellyn will try the three off the heel. Long rebound, poked away and saved by the Mastodons. Now see, the Mastodons can get within 10 points. That's a psychological win for them. So so they're, they're in the midst of a 20 nothing run at one point in this first half. Bumped on the way in, but oh, Chong Kui cool. able to finish. With Damien. He might look slight to build, but he is definitely strong. Took some contact there. John Kaufman liking what he saw from his veteran point guard. Howard. The three bounces all around the rim and out. I tell you, Eric Mulder has kept Hunter Dickinson off the offensive glass. Foul on Llewellyn. John Quee going to this offhand to get it up on the glass before Dickinson can respond. Look at that bump. Gets it high. And teardrop at the bucket. Nice move. I heard you talking earlier about those DMV guys. And he said, wait a minute, I'm from McDonough High School in Baltimore. That's right, I can Kevin. play in that group. That's right. <laughs> Toughness personified out of that area. Ten-point game coming up on halftime. 
Wadudas. A three, no. The tip won't go, but a foul on Dickinson. How about JoJo Peterson snaking in there to pick up the second foul on the big man? That's great effort. And you're starting to see Purdue Fort Wayne get a little bit more energy on this on this end, Kevin. Starting to make their own breaks. Well, they were a good defensive team a year ago. They were aggressive. They were 19th in the country, average almost nine steals per game. Short on that free throw from Peterson. It was just eight for 16 a year ago at the line. So Dickinson likely done for the half with those two fouls. Yeah, but he is he has put in major work though. I mean, I saw some things defensively from him that were very, very impressive. It's a nine-point game. Maybe the most surprising statistic so far tonight. Purdue Fort Wayne 22, Michigan 15 on the glass. Well, you know, you're talking about a veteran ball club, Purdue Fort Wayne. And, you know, the teams on the horizon are generally older, generally smaller on these posi uh, positions. They don't like the top. Second foul on Quentin Mort Robinson and a one-on-one -on -one opportunity coming up. Buffkin to the line, 77% shooter last year. He's not had an attempt tonight. He's got four first half points. You know, we got to remind our viewers, Kevin, that uh, Purdue Fort Wayne has took out their best player. Godfrey, Jared Godfrey, uh, coach's decision. So this guy's a 15 points per game score last season. Front end, no good. Jeanette the rebound man. They'd love to have Godfrey tonight. His coach calls him Mr. Consistency, which is something you'd love to have when you're taking on a team like Michigan. That's right. 9-2 run without him. Phillips off the fake. Buffkin draped all over him. Five to shoot. Pass to Hoist. Chong Quiz three rebounded by Baker. Now Michigan can hold for the final shot. Good defense on that ball screen action. John Queen was trying to get downhill, but Michigan well positioned. Timeout used by Jawan Howard. 37 28. Well, we touched a little bit on some of the stuff when we were looking at games that were getting underway on Big Ten Plus, but what are your, some of your early seasons? He's done it in the past. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the era of the transfer portal and yep. the NIL. Yep. Because this, this is going to be the norm, not the, not the exception. Program sellers are thrilled with the new transfer portal. <laughs> oh, this day is this. Read the handoff. Howard for three. Got it. Ken Howard with the three. He's got eight. Half court heave. No good. Halftime arrives. And Michigan takes the 12 point lead into the locker room. Great set play to get Jet Howard a nice looking three. Well executed by the Wolverines to close out the half. Four. Have basketball back. Good to be back in the season. 147 nights from tonight will crown a national champion. But not tonight. We will not crown one tonight. No, not tonight. No. Let's hope a Big Ten team is in the mix in, uh, on that night as well. It'll be fun to see. Yes. Michigan hoping it's them yes. as the Big Ten team. Here's Kobe Bufkin going to work in the corner to Jet Howard for three. And a good start for Howard. Who's into double figures with 11 in his season debut? Beautiful playmaking by Kobe Buck. Dribble, penetration, kick for an open look. But Morton Robinson had the hot hand in the first half. Another offensive rebound for Purdue Fort Wayne. That's their seventh, but an offensive foul on Rob Petty. And for Petty, that is his third. Well, Rod is, is a strong young man, and I credit Terrence Williams for sacrificing his body. He took quite a shot. John Kaufman with some coaching on the sideline. I'm going to tell you something. Andy, his father, was strong. I don't know. I don't know if Andy's as strong as Rod, though. My goodness. You're saying Andy's not going to take the charge no. from his son? No, no. No, I, I tip my hat to Terrence Williams for that effort. Especially game one. Yes. Sometimes discretion is the better part of valor in game one. That, 
think Jawan Howard has gotten the message across to his players how you're going to play is on this end of the floor. Damian Chomp, please three, rebounded by Hunter Dickinson. And Michigan to push it up. Williams looking. And Howard inside to Dickinson, back in the corner. Llewellyn's three. And we've got a whistle underneath and a foul. It's going to go on Mulder. The freshman from Oskaloosa, Iowa. That, it was something subtle in that play there. Dickinson got the ball. He was a little off balance. He threw a laser into the shooting pocket of Llewellyn that time. Those are little things that can really get you clean looks on the offensive end. Llewellyn had transferred in to Princeton. It's become kind of a, a trademark as he dumps it down to Bumpkin for a two-hand flush. Jawan Howard's gone to the grad transfer route to fill that hole. And Jalen Llewellyn talked to Mike Smith, who was a Columbia transfer, before coming here and saying, what am I getting into? And Mike Smith said, you're going to love it. And sure enough, Jalen Llewellyn is here and starts a point guard on opening night. And you can see why they like him as the point guard. Good distribution skills to Bumpkin for the flush. Yeah, I mean, it, Llewellyn keeping his head up. He notices all the traffic is coming towards him. Bufkin goes back door. It's a nice two-player hookup. Bufkin showing you some of his athleticism at the rim. It's Mike Smith, and it was Devontae Jones who transferred in, and now Jalen Llewellyn, the grad transfer. And this Paul Martelli said, I mean, look, the guy's a Princeton graduate. You know he's smart. <laughs> That's right. He's got really good size at the point guard position as well. Tough play underneath for Boulder as Dickinson scoops up that ball. You know, I said this in the first half. I like Molden. He, he hasn't had a lot of success here against Hunter Dickinson. I like what he brings to the table. Good hands by Deontay Phillips to get that steal. Here's Planutus against Williams. Planutus really pounding that dribble. Phillips will try the three. And Dickinson able to track down his eighth rebound. Hunter looks faster, looks lighter on his feet than he did last season. Really put a lot of work in. And he's become more vocal and a leader. He, he often talked about putting too much of that pressure on Eli Brooks. But he had to step up this season. Oh, he's frustrated. And it'll go this way. Last touch by Purdue Fort Wayne. Now they're going to reverse that. It's going to belong to the Mastodon, so it'll stay on this end of the floor. Well, there's those point guards. Mike Smith was the first to come in from Columbia, then Devontae Jones from Coastal Carolina, and then Jalen Llewellyn reached out to Mike Smith, said, what do you think? Mike Smith gave it the seal of approval, and here's Jalen Llewellyn, a Princeton graduate, working on his master's in social work here in Ann Arbor. And all three of those guys bring something different to the table, but Llewellyn is bigger. And I think that he's going to have a nice fit with this version of the Wolverine. Good skip to find the open shooter, and that's Deontay Phillips. Able to rain down his third three of the night. Yeah, and Phillips is doing a lot of talking in the first half. <laughs> he got those first two to go. Remember me, Kevin? I said, hey, you got to be careful. He has not scored since until that bucket right there. Yes. Spin by Llewellyn. And the drop off to Dickinson for the hammer. Well, that was a beautiful read by the well. Pocket pass out the spin cycle. We've seen what they like from Jalen Llewellyn as a distributor the last few trips down the floor. The running hook not going to go, and Dickinson with his ninth rebound. Forty-seven, thirty-one, Michigan by sixteen. Oh, good recognition. Five, good finish, and a foul. Seventeen for Hunter Dickinson. And a timeout on the floor as Dickinson will head to the line after the break. Oh, I mean, a good for his teammate. Joan was telling us earlier today that he never pushed basketball on any of his kids, but he said for Jet, 
it was like they would bring a babysitter or a nanny in and Jet would say at the age of two or three or four, let's go, let's go shoot hoop, That's I want right. to go work out, I, I want to get going. Out. I got to work, he, he said, I saw, he saw me doing it, me being Jawan, yep. and he just wanted to do it. He gravitated to basketball at a very early age, and you could see the basketball IQ was off the charts. Oh, big time. And it, it, he makes things look easy, and it's great size from the wing. Roberts looking baseline. In some trouble, able to get control of that basketball and a foul on Terrence Williams. Just the first on Williams, second on Michigan in this second half. You know what? Jawan Howell will live with that effort. Terrence Williams did everything right except right at the end, just got a little over exuberant, maybe? Did I say that right? I think that's right. Yeah. Man, I'm in this You are before. not <laughs> spending your days reading a thesaurus and a dictionary in the offseason. <laughs> No, I'm just reading hey, Kevin Cooper on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, that'll learn you a lot. Uh, Morton Robinson trying to find some room on the baseline. He's blocked off. Anthony Roberts isn't, and he takes it to the rim. And Roberts with his first two. He was a big-time scorer at the Division II level at St. Cloud State, over 1,300 points. Yeah, I, I mean, well put together. Uh, got to the hole, did not fear Hunter at all. This could be a foul away from the ball. Last time's foul is the number 32, Eric Holder. Holder with the foul. His second. His his second. I know the score's a little lopsided, 50 to 33. I'll tell you right now, this Purdue Fort Wayne team, when they get Jared Godfrey back, who's their best player and their best returning score, watch out, Horizon. Yes, yeah. Or, or watch out for anybody playing in the non con as well. Yeah. Foul on Buffkin. This go the other way. You know, you tip your hat to Jawan Howard because a lot of Power Five programs don't bring the Horizon League favorite into their building in a non-conference slate. That's a it's a dangerous game, but his guys are locked and loaded from the jump. But you know who's going to have his eyes open for this team? Chris Collins. Purdue Fort Wayne goes to Northwestern in about a week and a half. Uh, better be ready. It'll be a turnover going the other way, the air ball. And the chance begins towards Deontay Billups. I like Billups, though. I know I'm, I'm trying to have him be a little bit more cautious, but I like his mocks. You know what? You're on the road. you got nothing to lose. Let it fly. Did you see the sign that was behind him in the student section after that air ball? It said, 15 reminds the teacher that homework is due. <laughs> Hunter Dickinson. With his 18 double double, 20 and 10 tonight in the season opener. Rebound, Terrence Williams. Watch Dickinson here. Right there. Oh, good hands by Rob Petty. He saw it too and was able to get in there and poke it away. No, that was a good job by Rod on the anticipation. Hunter Dickinson. Kevin, I have not seen him move this good in his career. I mean, he is running the floor. Laterally, he looks quicker than I've seen him in his first two seasons here. He really put in some work in the offseason. 20 points, 10 rebounds in 19 minutes of play tonight. It's pretty productive. Oh, man. I mean, and the effort has been elite. A look pass for three. Joey Baker finishing it off. I don't know that you can speed Jet Howard up. I mean, he just, he's just such, under such control when he makes his play. Time on the shot clock. Wrap around to Mulder and Mulder on the board with his first career bucket. John Quee, that's a beautiful pocket feet there. He's got knee and the thigh a little bit. You see him trying to work it out. It's a beautiful read. Oh, oh turn the corner for two. You know what? Coming on that hard curl off of Dickinson. Nice read. You have a bold prediction in game one, Stephen Bardo. What's that? Jet Howard's going to become a Michigan fan favorite. I think Jet Howard may become a, a Big Ten. Dickinson with the rejection. Mulder able to track it down. 
In the corner, the three up and off. Mulder trying to keep it alive. Oh, Doug McDaniel behind the back. Doug driving. Doug finishing. Oh, they're going to dig Doug. <laughs> oh, I think I already do, Kevin. Time out in Ann Arbor. DC tough Doug McDaniel. Showing some speed in the open floor. Well, he's well. He's back out there now. We have not seen Yo-Yo Kayat, Yusef Kayat. They call him Yo-Yo, the freshman from Beirut, Lebanon. He was a late add to the class. But that's another freshman that they really have a lot of high hopes for. Yep. And he's got some international experience already. So, young player with some boxing. Maybe a Chong Kui back to work to Bobby Planudis. Where Ra was, Ra Petty was wide open. Hey, missed him there. Planudis for three. Out to Williams, his fourth rebound of the night. McDaniel driving with the extra burst of speed, but he can't finish and Petty the rebound. Yep. That's the guys have numbers in the hustle. Planudis waiting for three and hits the three. Planudis with eight. He's been well defended tonight, but he is going to score some big time points this year. Yeah, Bobby Buckets is going to get it done in the rival league. I tip my hat to Joey Baker that time, though. Didn't allow him a catch and shoot look. Forced him off the three point line. Jet Howard will back things out. Shot clock at seven. Williams in the corner. McDaniels three. Rebounded by Planudis. Maybe a shot for the push. The lead behind. Planudis in transition. That three rims out. Baker the rebound. Pretty good look for the Mastodons. Here's McDaniel blasting down the baseline. Back it out. Baker for three. A little strong and Planudis with a good box out. And it's good offense by Michigan. Sharing the basketball. Nice floor space. Ten rebounds for Planudis. He's looking for a double bump. Eight points, ten boards. Roberts. Williams, good defense. Nine minutes gone in this second half. John Queen leader drops home. He's got six and a chance for one more. Boy. He gets up. Jet oh. Howard with the foul. And a chance for one more. And I think this year, Kevin, we want to try to educate some of our younger viewers of how rich this conference is and the, the type of talent that has come through here in the last 30 or 40 years. Gary Grant, one of the best to walk the, the, the hollow courts of the Big Ten. So now you know if you run into Stephen Bardo sometime and you say, look, it's Gary Grant, yeah. Stephen will run the other way. Exactly. <laughs> or break out in the cold sweat. <laughs> Daniel trying to hit the cutter, Kobe Bufkin, and it's out of bounds. There is so much history and tradition in this league, and love to celebrate the new faces and the new places and all that, but it's fun to go back and look at the guys who built this league yeah. into the best basketball conference in America. And, and you know what, Kevin, it's, it's really for the, our younger viewers, just so they have a, a point of reference, you know, how deep this, this conference goes. And the fact that it's led the nation in attendance for 45 consecutive seasons. Ludus in the corner, his shot blocked and saved by Joey Baker. I tell you, the perimeter and wing length of Michigan is impressive. And they have coupled that with elite effort. My goodness, they, they will improve from last season's defensive effort. There's no doubt when you watch this. Tend to shoot. McDaniel in the corner, popping out his Bufkin. Bufkin on the baseline, fade away, rims out, and a foul. Jace Howard trying to get to that rebound, swats it away, and picks up his third personal foul. Wednesday stream women's hoops live on the Big Ten Plus app as the Wolverines take on Delaware State in the season opener. There's no plus like home. Download the Big Ten Plus app and subscribe today. Fifth ranked Michigan in action on Wednesday. Speaking of good basketball, Big Ten women's basketball is oh, elite. Yes. Because it, you know, 
Maryland. It used to be a lot of Maryland. It's a whole lot of other people now, buddy. This programs have caught up. I think the Hawkeyes will make a little noise this year. I agree with you. Doug McDaniel might be the best score in men or women in the conference. Oh, my goodness. Must, must watch television. Young men as well. Absolutely. Good basketball. Good basketball. That's right. <laughs> That's exactly right. Peterson with 10 on the shot clock. Planudis patient on the baseline and draws the contact and the foul. Ooh, he got a break there. The defense collapsed on him quickly. I thought they were straight up and down. He forced the contact to get the look. Fourth foul on Jace Howard. I understand why Jace is kind of confused. Watch. He puts his hands right. Oh, he left his feet. There it is. Nice job by Planudis. That's the veteran of Bobby Planudis. He has been around the block. Began a year at Mount St. Mary's. Played at St. Bonaventure. Then came to Purdue Fort Wayne. So he's been around the block a few times. But you talk with John Kaufman, his head coach, about him. And he says, look, this program has always been built on gym rats. And this is a gym rat. It's a guy who just keeps getting better and better and better. Yeah, and I had a chance, a, a chance to have a quick chat with him before the game. A very personal young man. He was excited about this opportunity. Double-double tonight. 10 points, 10 rebounds. You saw him at the line. He's as good as anybody in America at the line. Missed one last year. One. That's a bucket here. That's why I call him Bobby Bucket. Need <laughs> a run for the Mastodons. And it'll belong to Purdue Fort Wayne. Oh, Kobe Bucket did a good job navigating that traffic. Just couldn't finish at the rim. Asking the question, what does it look like when an elephant runs? The Mastodons are on an 8-0 run right now. It's a shame to say I didn't know the Mastodon was an elephant. Let you know. Well, was trying from long range and a foul. Rob Petty was being held as he tried to get that rebound. And that's Jace Howard. That is his fifth. We'll see who it's on. And going to maybe look at this on the monitor to see if it's a hook and hold situation. I thought it was Joey Baker here. Yep. Yep. There it is. And they are indeed going to go to the monitor to see the hook and hold situation. Previous plays under further review. So while they take a look to see if it's a hook and hold, we will step aside from Ann Arbor. No argument from Joey Baker. So Rob Petty to the line for two free throws. He will likely hear about that from the student section. Oh, for sure. And he is. Good correction, good adjustment. One for two. Well, you, you notice what he did on the second one. Drop down to get his legs into the shot. A little straight up and down on the first attempt. Kind of looked like a dad on that first attempt. <laughs> dad just threw something on the TV. Oh, he, he's going to get me back. <laughs> Believe that. Robinson trying to penetrate. Back set out to Planudis. Back it goes to Morton Robinson in a fadeaway three. Good trip down the floor as the Mastodons are within 12. What this young man right here is playing with ultimate confidence. Morton Robinson has hit some big time shots. 12 nothing run for Purdue Fort Wayne. Terrace Reed, deep two, rebounded by Deontay Phillips. Ron Howard's got a little pensive look on his face looking at Terrace Reed Jr. I think a couple times where he's not understood what they were trying to do on the offensive end. Well, the scorer's table is uh, reflecting that as starters are about to make their way back in. Sean 
between. Rejected by Joey Baker and tossed out with six to shoot. Wow. And here comes Jet Howard. Here comes Dickinson and the rest back on the floor for Michigan. Speaking of on the floor, Big Ten Plus is on the floor. It's just the best place to watch games. There's no plus like home. Maryland up four at home in the Kevin Willard debut. Ohio State comfortably in charge. Michigan State and Indiana as well. But some nerves in College Park right now with Niagara giving Maryland all they want. Well, I expected Maryland to kind of have some tough go of it at the beginning. Kevin trying to figure out roles, trying to get chemistry, trying to learn how to play as hard as Kevin Willard wants you to play. So it's going to be interesting to watch their maturation. It's going to be interesting to watch that Ohio State team as well. No E.J. Liddell, Malachi Branham both gone to the next level. Zed Key's really the only notable returner, although they get just the suing back from injury. And the pause in play is because that's Damian Chong Kui, who was kind of lost behind yeah. the bench and being helped to the locker room for the Mastodons. He was really integral to what they were trying to do here this evening. Let's hope it's a cramp. Now we've got a whistle, and I believe out of bounds, and it belonged to Michigan. Let's go back to what happened to Damian Chong Kui. So he gets downhill, and Baker gets a good block. We'll watch him tumble over the photographer. Mm. He almost looks like he hit into the shoulder, Kevin. Well, he had a funny little half step as he came off the floor, almost like his feet got caught together. Mm. Okay. And then fell, so hopefully we'll get an update on that young man. He's incredibly tough, and he is talented. Yes, he is. He made an important part for them. Hunter Dickinson and a foul. That'll be on Deontay Phillips. Second on Billups. Hunter was fortunate. His teammates weren't talking to him. The defender came from behind and almost got a clean rip. Howard. Around the Dickinson screen. Now Dickinson to work. Trying to break the run and Mulder with a foul. That's a nice, nice job of Hunter Dickinson recognizing the freshman's exuberance and taking advantage of it. A little more patient offensive set this time down the floor for Michigan. Content to work the ball, get a couple of fouls. Jet Howard fortunate to snare that one. Oh, nice drop off to Dickinson on the roll. Goodness. And he does not get fouled. Dickinson got hit five times before he hit the floor. Nice crossover and a hammer for Anthony Roberts. Where did that come from? Man. Taking out a little aggression. Taking a little frustration out of that rim. Beautiful move, baseline. There's Llewellyn. Rotation around to Howard, the three in and out. Planudas tracks down the board. It's a really good ball movement by the Wolverines. Get a clean look. Another rebound tonight for Planudas. Roberts had to jam a moment ago, trying from long range, rebounded by Williams. That one goes now. Yep. No. Got a ball game. Chase Howard gets it lodged in their possession arrow. Will favor the Mastodons. Well, Jason's smiling, but Dad's not. A little concerned right now. Look at this. Look at this pass. I mean, Hunter got hit several times, but had the presence of mind to keep his eye on the rim and got the finish. <laughs> Baseline. Oh, we'll put both Howard sons on a post. <laughs> and a timeout used by John Kaufman and Purdue Fort Wayne. A lot to talk about for the Mastodons. A 14 to 2 run over the last 623 showing. Juan Howard, no, no doubt. That happened. And 
you know, what a relationship these two have. And Hunter's a great example of Jawan being able to go into the D.C. area and come out with quality players, three on his roster right now. Roberts banging his way down the baseline. The air ball picked off by Bumpkin. Roberts has a big 10 frame, doesn't he? He sure does. Boy, people bounce off of him when they come to contact. Hey, great to see Steven just looking over to my right. Damian Chalk Queen back on the Mastodon bench as the three falls for Jet Howard. But now I'm gonna tell you something. Quietly, that's a huge three. But that gives him a little bit more cushion. Oh, and a rejection on the other end. Jet Howard. Soaring on defense with the rejection. He's he's moving full speed and has a presence of mind to to get up on the on the attempt. Oh, good skip pass and right in the shooting pocket. Boy, he's got a smooth jump. One of eight blocks tonight for Michigan. That one's first. Back on the floor is John Quick. You know what it was? I think it was just cramping maybe. Glad he's out there. Well, Roberts. Five room on the baseline. Blocked off. Three to shoot. John Quay leaving for Peterson. That three way off. And the rebound to Jet Howard. Jet can move in the open floor. A little crossover. Jet gets inside. Jet an easy two. After a lot of work to get there, he's got 18. See, his frame, Kevin, will allow him to get downhill and finish among bigs. I mean, his... He's the total package. Skip into the corner, Roberts. Wrap around the penny. Five to shoot. Roberts will launch. Off Dickinson, rebound number 11. Good defensive possession that time by Michigan. Keeping everything out of the paint. Howard. Freshman season. You got that right. I mean, nothing pedestrian about his game. Boy, he makes it look easy. Like he's been here before. Roberts short and the rebound to Williams. And Roberts had much more success at the rim than he's having from long range. And as this game got tight, and we've still got Damian Chong Kui limping now. To the sideline again and a stoppage to help him get up. going off and playing like that. I don't know how Jawan's keeping his composure. You gotta feel great inside for your children, right? I mean, you have to. I, I would hope so. Yeah, you have to, but he's doing a great job of just maintaining his composure. Williams looking for three. Rims out to Deontay Phillips. Got, he got some experience with Jace last season. Jace didn't have the success that early on that his brothers had. Just rough luck at the rim for Rob Petty. Here's Jet again. Goodness. How fun is he going to be the as this year goes on? Uh, no, he's only going to get better. He's going to figure out what's happening here on this, on this level. He got swatted into the hands of JoJo Peterson off the Jet Howard miss. Phillips looking around, tipped out by Bumpkins. But I think everybody anticipated it from Jet after the exhibition game on Friday night, but you didn't really know when it got into a real game what it would look like. Well, it looks pretty good. Oh, man. I mean, you know, anytime you can shoot the ball the way that Jet can, it just opens up the floor. And now we've seen him put it on the deck. We've seen him make plays for his teammates. We've seen with a beautiful block on the move without fouling. He's shown a little bit of everything here this evening. Great pursuit of the rock by rock. Second chance here for the Mastodons. Lutus with the three. Tough shot. He's got 12. He's got a double double. 12 points, 11 rebounds. Kobe Buffkin was right there, too. I like him. Oh, Kladunas. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bobby Buckets? No doubt. Not be surprised to see this Mastodon's team in the NCAA tournament. It consistent. It's a cross-court pass finds Bumpkin. Plodutus skies for rebound number 12. Man, I give the Mastodon's a lot of credit for not their best player. I mean, they, they showed themselves well here tonight. But... Jet Howard open floor lob to Bumpkin who rolls it home. Superlatives here for Jed Howard. <laughs> Making a lot of passes on the move. Scoring the basketball at will. Boy. We're going to have to get that thesaurus that you were reading over the summer out again because we're going to need to come up with some different words as this year goes along. You know? Right, right. But I always wondered about that. Like, man, you know, if you get mad at the coach, you have to bite your tongue in the locker room. <laughs> Bench has cleared. Greg Glenn, the third on the floor for the first time tonight. Cooper Smith on the floor. Smith, the little runner, will not go. Rebound punched out. Glenn able to save it for Michigan. And the freshman on a Fort Lauderdale. Greg Glenn, the third on the two. To the rim for two. Well, he made that look easy. Glenn with good size as well. Hamlin and Rock. Ooh. to Deontay Phillips, under a minute to go. Phillips with a dump down, Vogel cannot finish inside. The ball pops loose into the hands of the Wolverines. Quickly up the floor, Cooper Smith leaving it. Will Cheddar's three, an air ball caught by Phillips. Will Cheddar trying to get some clock here. Phillips, three off, Glenn rebound, long pass ahead. Cheddar with the finish. Look by Glenn. Had a little dance at the end, too, to punctuate it. First points in the career of Will Cheddar, redshirted last year at Michigan. Boulder inside and able to finish it all. For Boulder. And Michigan will just dribble this one out. Impressive debut for the Wolverines tonight. They get the 75 56 win. Over Purdue, Fort Wayne, a 1 0 start for the 22nd ranked Wolverines. You know what, Kevin? They did some good things offensively, but defense.